This introduction to the logit model is offered by statlect.com, the free digital textbook on probability, statistics, and matrix algebra. The logit model, or logistic regression, is a classification model. So, we start by explaining what a classification model is. As usual, we have some input variables x that we use to predict an output variable y. A classification model is used when the set of values that y can take is finite. Or y can be one of a finite set of categories. For example, y can take only one of three possible values, 1, 2, or 3. Or y can be one of three possible categories, cat, dog, or fox. A classification model is used to assign probabilities to the categories, based on the inputs x. For example, if y can be a cat, dog, or fox, a classification model could tell us that, conditional on x, y is a cat with probability 1 half, a dog with probability 1 fourth, and a fox with probability 1 fourth. The logit model is a binary classification model, that is, a model in which y can take only two possible values. In other words, y can belong to two possible categories. We always label these categories as 0 and 1. In a binary model, we only need to predict the probability that y is equal to 1. We can then derive the probability that y is equal to 0 as 1 minus the probability that y equals 1. In a logit model, the inputs x are used to compute a score. The score is a linear combination of the inputs. The coefficients of the linear combination are the parameters of the model, which need to be estimated using some data. The higher the score, the higher the probability that y equals 1. However, since the score can take any real value, we transform it using a function sigma, called logistic function, that takes values in the interval between 0 and 1. In this manner, we ensure that the predicted values are probabilities. The logistic transformation is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus the exponential of minus the score. Here's a plot of the logistic function. As you can see, it is a strictly increasing function that takes values between 0 and 1. It goes to 0 when the score tends to minus infinity, and it goes to 1 when the score tends to infinity. The parameters used to compute the score need to be estimated with some data. The most common estimation method is the maximum likelihood method. On statlec.com you can find all the details of the numerical algorithm used to compute the maximum likelihood estimator. To conclude, I want to show an example of a logit model estimated by maximum likelihood. There is a single input variable and the x, y couples in the dataset are plotted as dots. The scores are equal to linear transformations of the x values. The scores are fed into the logistic function so as to obtain probabilities. The blue line shows how the predicted probabilities change by changing x. As you can see, there is a range of values of x for which the probabilities are around 50%. This is the range in which we observe realizations of y belonging to both categories, 0 and 1. On the contrary, there are ranges of x in which probabilities are either 0 or 1. These are the ranges in which we observe realizations of y belonging to only one category. Thank you for watching this introductory video. On statlect.com you can find more in-depth lectures, examples and exercises on hundreds of topics in probability, statistics, and matrix algebra.